always doing something as far as to make things better. And that's, and that's my whole purpose. And, uh, and people come into the office, people are scared. I try to ease their fear with humor, okay? Really understand as far as what their, uh, what their main concern is, okay? I diagnose it and, and, and determine for what's the best way as far as to solve that particular problem. Basically, I'm an educator. As far as patient education, myself, my staff, my colleagues, as far as it's all about education. And education leads to innovations. Like one of the things we do, as far as an, an initial examination, with uh, especially with, uh, with the monitors in the room, and as far as we can show the patient, as far as their x-rays or clinical photos, and they, they can do their own diagnosis, basically. So it's easier to explain things. As far as people have recessions, people have bone loss, as far as what's necessary, as far as go through the steps. And um, but that's, that's one aspect, aspect as far as patient education. Yeah. I don't practice the same way I did like, even like five years ago. As far as things change. We learn more and we apply it, and that's, that's the science. And then about 10 years ago, I introduced diode lasers as far as part of routine parallel treatment. And uh, that improved care and as far as, it actually decreased as far as the number of procedures I actually do as far as surgically, which is great. Because I'm all about minimally invasive treatment. Treatment's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Lasers are not lasers. Lasers are not just cutting tools. Okay? The biologic aspects of a laser is defined by its wavelength. Not all lasers are the same. And, uh, there's no one in this area that understands laser regeneration more than I do, or the biology of it. Okay, and um, and that's what's really it's going to become much more commonly known in the next um, about five years or so. But more in, importantly is that we treat people like they're a member of our family, okay? Because my staff are a member of my family. I, I regard them as my, uh, my sisters, my brother, and uh, even, my, even the youngest one here is more of my daughter, okay? They're not actually physical family members, but that's how I treat them. And that's why they've been with me for like, some of them like 25 plus years. What really distinguishes the practice of heart more than anything else is the, the quality of care that we that we render, and also the, as far as the, the people that are involved with it, because it's, it's all it's all about people, and people people are scared. As far as we help them help them through that.